Hey. Hey. I'm gonna move this out of the way real quick and uh, guys, we're gonna do a quick, quick video this morning because I have a few minutes before I have to go to work. <coughs> but uh, happy late Memorial Day from CDM. So today we're gonna talk about, oh shit, I didn't prep something. So, geared in, we had plenty of time to uh, play this weekend. Hannah and I were both off. It's a good weekend. And uh, I had two or three ish adventures planned. And um, I'll do another video about that later. But right now, we're going to talk about what the fuck did I do with labyrinths? <laughs> so. La the first Ghirodan campaign, uh, the first the first arc, I did uh, a full board with some pick and pluck foam as hedges. It was a great board. Uh, it was a last minute thing. This time, we ended up in uh, Hannah's character Bjork ended up uh, getting pushed into a labyrinth, and uh, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So, how did I do it? Did it involve endless, endless pages of graph paper maps in an old DM's guide? No. What it involved was this. My stack, a short stack of, dra of fat dragon tiles. So how I ran this labyrinth was pretty simplistic. It was uh, Hannah's character Bjork and Mr. Bentham, they were together and obviously Bjork was in control making every decision because I had no idea. And what would happen is they would be here, they would be here-ish and uh, and so we would do it a lot like an old top scroller. So I would throw this one down and Hannah would choose left or right. And every time she chose, if she chose left, we'd go like this and there'd be another hallway and this. And then she'd choose again. And every now and then I was rolling, uh, I was rolling a D4, figure out how many choices she had to make before we had an encounter. And uh, before she encountered a, a an adversary and uh, had some conflict but it's pretty simplistic and then they ended up up here and oh well this one comes up and all of a sudden there's a giant orc man giant zombie orc man he's one of my favorite minis actually and uh but anyway so that's how I ran it just through choices when things like this are mapped it slows everything down on on everything. It's it's like just having a dungeon exist, having it pop up. If you were having a deeper encounter, go ahead and map it out. If you're having a an encounter that is uh, prominent to your story, map it out. But otherwise, you don't really have to do much beyond letting the choice happen and seeing where it flows and just let it go and let your players decide what fun they're going to have that night. But anyway, I got to get to work. See you guys.